Hi guys, welcome to another video here at How To with Natura Vita. And today I want to show you how to create a YouTube custom thumbnail, which is not just one image, but a collage, as you can see from the example here. So this is my um, Natura Vita channel. And as you can see, I've got a few collage examples like this one here, where there are three images in one. And you've also got these ones here, where there are four images in one. So I'm going to show you how to create these collages today. So it's very simple. All you want to do, you don't need any special program or so. All you need is um, the internet. So go to Google. And once you're in Google, type Pixlr into the search, P-I-X-L-R. And then click on Pixlr.com photo editor online. And just wait for it to load. Okay, so once you're at the uh, site, scroll down. And here you have two options. You've got the Pixlr editor, and this is where you can add text to your images. You can replace color, you can add more images, but we want Pixlr Express. This is where we can create collages. So click on launch web app. All right, so once you're here, click on collage. If you click on layout, you've got all of these different layout options. The ones that I like to use for my YouTube thumbnails are um, this one, for example, the square shape where you've got four images in one. I also like to use these two here. So you've got three images in one. So for example, this one. If you look at my Natra Vita channel, you'll see that this is the exact one that I've used here. Today, I'm going to show you how to use this one. So the square one with four images in one. And that's what I've done for these two thumbnails here. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is adjust the proportion. So as you can see at the moment, it's a square shape. So you want to make it into a rectangular shape. And the way you do that is just where it says proportions here, make sure that goes all the way down. So drag it down to about 40. And let's go with 39. Okay, 39 is okay. All right, and once you've done that, the next thing is import your images. So I'm just gonna choose a few images from my computer, like this one. And you can um, drag your images up or down. You can't do sideways, but you can drag them up or down. Let's go here. And let's go with the next image. This one. So you've got your four images. The next thing that you can do is you can adjust the spacing in between your images. And the way you do that is simply by scrolling that down or adjusting it down all the way. I like to go to about three. Three is good. You can even go to two. Two, let's go for two. You can also create a round effect, so like this. But I don't really use this option, but that's an option if you want to go ahead with that. And you can also um, make your border or the spacing in between your pictures. You can give them a color. So for example, um, red. And let's go with yellow. There you go. All right, next thing is just click on finish once you're done. And you can either add your text here. So um, if you want to add text, using Pixlr Express, all you want to do is click on type. And then you've got all of these options to add your text. So you can add text if you want. But I'm not going to do that now because before I add text to my images, I usually first adjust the size to fit with the YouTube requirement. So I'm going to do that now. So let's go to cancel. And let's go to save. Let's just save the collage image. Let's save it as collage. Okay, yes, that's good. All right, so once you've saved the image, so all I did was just click on save and then quality, I went to 100. Okay, so once you've saved this, go back to Pixlr, just Pixlr by itself, not Express. Okay, and this time you want to select Pixlr Editor rather than Pixlr Express. So click on Launch Web App. And 
Now click on create a new image. And you want to click on this arrow where it says presets, click on the arrow pointing down all the way, scroll down to movie 720 and then click OK. Now, as you can see, this the size of this blank image is 1280 by 720 and that's the requirement which YouTube asks for when you are submitting a uh, YouTube thumbnail. And the good thing with Pixlr is that it already creates this blank image for you. I like to just make that 50, but you don't have to. It's just so that all of the white image is showing. And the next thing you want to do now is just click on File, Open Image, and just look for your collage. All right. Now I'm going to drag the collage down and the way I'm doing that is just, you see my arrow here, I'm just clicking on this uh, black border and then just drag it down, drag down the black border and this collage here, this image is basically here where it says background. You see my mouse now is, is like a pointy finger. So when you see this pointy finger, you want to click on the background image and drag it onto the white background here like this. Boom. Now it is on your 1280 by 720 background image. Now you can move this collage to wherever you want. And the way you move it is by choosing or selecting this move tool. So here you can move it around. And we are going to actually just make it fit this whole white background so here at the moment you can still see there's some excess space so the way you make it fit is basically by clicking on edit and free transform and then you see this box so you want to hold down the shift key this is important just so that it adjusts the size proportionally if you don't hold down the shift key this is what happens can you see so let's just nope do you want to apply the changes no nope. Let's do that again. So edit, free transform, and this time hold on the shift key. And now drag your image to fit. Now it's going to be a bit bigger. But let's keep dragging it until it fits. Okay, that's that looks pretty good. And then once you're happy, click enter. Boom. And that's it. That's all you need to do. So you have um, created this... 1280 by 720 YouTube collage thumbnail and the last thing I'm going to show you is how to add text so if you want to add text to this image very easily just click here here where on the left hand sidebar is where all of your tools are so click on the A sign and that just means text and then anywhere in the image click and now you can write what you want to write so I'm going to write I'm not really making this look exceptional this is just for demonstration purposes you can select the font you i'm just going to go with ahori okay that's good that's fine and maybe select the color um web let's go with uh yellow yep yellow is okay so Let's just click on OK. And then here where you see this star sign, it's called layer styles. You can sort of make your text pop out a bit. So click on outer glow. I like to use this one. Mm, let's go with um, black. OK. Yep. As you can see, there's a black edge around the text, so it makes it stand out more. And then you can even increase the size of the black text like that and the hardness and that's pretty good so I think that looks good you can also create a shadow like this which actually I might leave as well and an inner shadow which I'm not going to go for in this case inner glow looks pretty good as well so why not and then once you're happy click OK and that's it guys that's how to create a collage youtube thumbnail and the final thing is click on file and save quality let's go for 100 click ok finished and save voila 
And now if you want to look at our YouTube collage image, that's our collage YouTube thumbnail image finished. And if you want to know how to add it to your YouTube channel, it's very simple. Just go to video manager, um, click on edit. And here where it says change image, this is where you add your collage image. Now, if you don't see this, by any chance because you have just started your YouTube channel or so then all you need to do is you need to monetize your video so click on channel click on monetization here you need to monetize your videos mine's already monetized so I don't can't do it again but if you want to know how to do this please watch the video which I'm linking here now thank you very much for watching um, this tutorial. I hope it was useful. If it was, don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more videos on how to YouTube and website better. Thank you guys and bye.